Are you looking for a way to upgrade your home decor without breaking the bank? Well, today we are saving thousands of dollars by duping some high-end decor. Wall art is a quick, easy way to spruce up any room. However, it can come with a hefty price tag. Take for instance, this set of four European intaglios in a shadow box frame. This wall art is from Etsy. This set of four comes in at a whopping price of $680. I know that we can do much better than that. So the first thing that we need to do is find ourselves a shadow box frame. So I headed over to Michael's because recently they've been having some great sales on frames and luckily for me, I found these frames. They are black 16 by 20 canvas frames, which is similar to a shadow box frame. And the price was right at only $10 a piece. So I picked up two of these. Now, one piece of advice I can give you is do not let the color dissuade you from buying something that you love. Color can always be changed. So yes, these frames are black, but that's not a big deal because we can paint them gold. So I took my frames outside and I got some gold Rust-Oleum spray paint and I sprayed the frames in this gold spray paint. I made sure that the entire frame, including the inside of the frame, was sprayed in the spray paint, and then I let it dry for one hour. The next item that we need is some canvas to go inside of our frame. I went to Hobby Lobby and I checked out their canvas section, and they had these 16 by 20 canvases, and they were on clearance for only $6.99, and it was a package of two. So that was a great find. The intaglios on our inspiration piece looked like they were marble or clay to me. So what I did while I was at Hobby Lobby, I figured I'd head over to the rock and the mosaic section and see what they had there. They had a package of these white flat rocks. I love that they're natural and misshapen and I thought they would be a great backdrop for the design that we're gonna put on top. And this bag was on sale 40% off. So far, so good. Now our inspiration piece in Taglios looked like they had some farmers on it and some buildings. And while those are nice, I want something that is meaningful to me and my family, especially if I'm gonna hang it up on the wall. Keys are an important part of our family and also in our religion. So I thought keys would be fantastic to put on our rocks. I went to the scrapbook section at Hobby Lobby and I found this package of seven keys again it was 40% off. The final piece that we need for our frames is a mat to go around it. As you know, mats can get extremely expensive, but while I was at Hobby Lobby, I decided to wander a little bit down the clearance section and I found these huge oversized mats. They had a white one, which is perfect for what we need, and the price was right at $3.24. Everything we needed at Hobby Lobby was either on sale or on clearance, so we hit the bargain jackpot. We are off to a great start. So now that we have our pieces, let's get started on our wall art. We are going to begin with the keys. The keys are great, but they are the wrong color, and so I'm gonna take them outside and spray them in some white Rust-Oleum spray paint. I made sure that these keys were saturated in this white spray paint, and then I waited for an hour to let them dry. I came back and I flipped the keys over and I sprayed them again on the opposite side. Once they were completely coated in the spray paint, I let them dry for another hour. While our paint is drying, I thought this is a perfect time to get started on our mat. So I took my canvas and I put it over the top of the mat. I took a pencil and I traced out the size I needed. Then I got a rotary cutter and I cut out the rectangle. For the inside, I got a ruler and I measured out the size that I needed to cut out the center. This time I'm using an X-Acto knife. I love using an X-Acto knife because it gets those lines crisp and sharp, especially in the corners. So now I have my mats. I cut two of them out and those are ready to go. Now it's time to assemble. So I took my mats and I added some hot glue to the canvas and then I pressed my mat over the top because we do not want those mats sliding around. Next, I laid out my flat rocks to determine which ones I wanted to use. 
and then I got my keys and I added some hot glue to the back of the keys and then pressed them into the center of our flat rocks. I did this with all six of the keys. Now I'm going to take my rocks and I'm going to place them on my canvas. I got a ruler out to make sure that they were evenly spaced and then I got some hot glue and I put the hot glue on the back of the rocks and pressed them firmly to the canvas. Again, I did this with all six of my rocks. Now all we need to do is take our canvas and put them back into the frame. I put in the plexiglass first and then put our canvas inside and then added the backing to the back. I have been wanting some artwork in this dining room right over here on the wall. I have some beautiful box moldings, but they were empty. And so I wanted to fill them with something that was classic and neutral. And these intaglio shadow box pieces of wall art are perfect for this space. I hung them up and now we have a beautiful piece in here. Not only is it gorgeous, but it is meaningful. I did let each of the family members pick out the key that represented them. So it does have a purpose, not only just being beautiful, but it does have some meaning behind it. Our inspiration wall art from Etsy was $680. And that was for a set of four. We did two, so let's break that down into an individual piece. So each piece of framed wall art was $170. So it would have been $340 for me to purchase these from Etsy. I ended up spending $39.31. So we ended up saving over $300 from our inspiration piece. And as a bonus, mine are larger. So I got the exact size that I wanted. And now I have some classy, elegant wall art to adorn the walls in my dining room. I'm excited to show you my master bedroom. I've been working in here. I've been doing a master bedroom refresh and we also have multiple dupes that we're gonna be doing in here. So come on in and check out the transformation. The first thing that comes to mind when I think about a master bedroom refresh is beautiful bedding. And I wanted to get some bedding that was light and bright for this time of year. So I started to look at some bedding. I wanted some soft pillows, some delicate textures, so I could create a peaceful ambiance in here. And I found a beautiful option on the Horde Chow website. I love this duvet and the pillows that came along with it. It was just the perfect color scheme that I was going for. However, to get this duvet and all of the pillows, it would cost me $1,733. So uh, no, we're not gonna go with that option, but we are gonna find a much less expensive option. So let's start off with this coverlet. It's really thin, so it's perfect for this time of year. I love the color and the quilted herringbone pattern on it. It's just so pretty. This coverlet also came with the two king size shams right here in the back. So already we're off to a great start. Now I've got these pillows that I absolutely love and all I did was buy pillow coverings. I have two of these beautiful velvet jacquard geometric pillow coverings. And then this pillow right here in the cover is a cream velvet pleated pillow. And then the pillows at the back are the ones that I always have on my bed. I love these, they're so soft and plush and I've had those forever. So. It didn't cost me hardly anything to get this bedding. In fact, the cost for me to purchase this bedding and the pillow covers was only $48.92. You guys, that is such a huge savings over our $1,733 inspiration piece. If you're like me and you change your bedding out frequently for the different times of year, doing it in an affordable way is key. My pieces are from Timu. They are beautiful, they are elegant, and they brighten up this space and make it feel so luxurious. Many of the products that I'm using today are from a company called Timu. Timu is an online marketplace that has such a huge variety of items that you can get there. They have fashion, they have pet supplies, they have jewelry, electronics, home decor, 
a huge variety, and you can get them at ultra affordable prices. They offer products up to 90% off. They have free shipping, free returns up to 90 days. They accept all major credit cards and even have some pay later programs. You can shop all of the items that I'm using today. I will leave a link in my description box to Timu as well as all the products that I'm using. I also have a coupon code for 30% off all new users. They also have a new promotion. If you download the Timu app that's in my description box, you can claim a $100 coupon bundle. And that is available for all users. So head on over to Timu and check out all of their amazing affordable products. Let's move over and start decorating our nightstands. You guys know that I love ginger jars. I have them all over my house and my collection always seems to be expanding. However, I like to do it on a budget. So my inspiration piece for our next dupe is from Caitlin Wilson. And these jars are beautiful. I love the classic shape, the white color, and the gold base that comes along with these jars. The downside is the price of $308 per jar, which is too expensive for me to pay. So we are going to happily dupe them for less. I was at Home Goods the other day and I came across these gorgeous white ginger jars. And the best part was these jars were only $30 a piece. So already we are off to a great start. Now our inspiration piece had these beautiful gold bases, which made them very unique and individual. So to mimic those, I needed some wood rounds. While I was at Hobby Lobby, I found these wood rounds that had some great detail on it. It was the perfect size and the price was only $2.49. I scooped them up and brought them home and now we're going to paint them. So I took them outside and I painted them in some gold rust spray paint. I made sure that these rounds were completely covered in the spray paint and then I let them dry for an hour. Now I can simply put these gold rounds underneath my ginger jar. They fit under there perfectly. They had just the right amount of detail. They look so similar to our inspiration piece. For me to create our dupes, it only cost me $67. These jars are classic, they're beautiful, they bring in an elegance to this room and they're the perfect size for my nightstand decor. I have been needing some new lamps for a very, very long time. The lamps that I have had on my nightstands I purchased about 10 years ago. They were on clearance at TJ Maxx, and you guys, these, these lamps have been glued back together. They've been painted. I've tried to salvage them as best as I can. They've done their duty, and it's time to move on to a new lamp. I've had these lamps saved in my favorites on the Horchow website for a very long time. I love the way that they look. They're so unique and different. I love the branch detail on it and the color scheme of the golden white is perfect. The reason why I have not purchased them is because they cost $2,185 a piece for one. But don't worry right now they're on sale. They're only $1,638.75 which is still not going to happen. <laughs> But at least it gave me some inspiration. So when I walked into Home Goods the other day, I saw these lamps. You guys, I was so excited. They are perfect. It's got this marble base, the gold branches with these beautiful birds on it. And this lampshade, you guys, look at how pretty it is. I've never seen anything like this scalloped lampshade. And then it's got a pretty little bird on the top. So it was a no-brainer for me to scoop these up, especially because they only cost $59.99 each, which is such a huge savings over our inspiration piece. Getting unique pieces like this can take your design over the top. It makes it feel expensive because you haven't seen something like this before. They look and feel pricey. I love these lamps so much more than the inspiration lamps. 
So if I were to purchase these two lamps on the Horchow website, it would be $3,157, and that is from the sale price. And I ended up spending $120 on mine. So we saved ourselves thousands of dollars by finding a piece and purchasing it. So if you have items that you love, save it, favorite it, heart it, put it in an area where you can look at it and be inspired so that when you come across a piece that's similar, you know to scoop it up. I like adding natural elements to my space. I think plants and flowers warm up a space and make it feel homey. We are going to create a flower arrangement right now. Our inspiration piece is from the Wayfair website. It was $45.99, which isn't outrageous, but I still think that we can do better. So we're gonna start off with a container. I purchased this container at TJ Maxx and it had been discounted multiple times. I picked it up for $4.50. I'm going to put a tape grid over the top. So I got some pieces of scotch tape and I put that over the top. I did some lines vertically and horizontally. Now it's time to get our flowers. I purchased a bunch at Hobby Lobby. They were 40% off, which brought our cost down dramatically. And then I also have some flowers from Timu. What I'm gonna do with these flowers is I'm going to bend the stem so I can get the right height, and then I'm going to put them in my tape grid. This was a really easy arrangement to create. I just put those flowers in the same location as our inspiration piece floral arrangement. Once my flowers were in place, we were done. You guys, so simple, so easy, so affordable. The cost to create my flower arrangement was $19.46. So we ended up saving over $26 from our inspiration piece, which isn't a lot, but I'm all about saving money and any amount is just fine with me. Now I can take this flower arrangement and put it on top of my nightstand. I love the warmth that it brings. It's feminine and masculine at the same time. The color scheme matches perfectly with what I'm going for in this room. Now we can't talk about this master bedroom refreshed without mentioning this beautiful new light fixture. You guys, I love this thing so much. What was there before was a fan. This fan was dark. The frosted glass on it was so dim. Hardly any light was able to filter through. It just was the dark spot in the room and just so heavy, I didn't like it. So I took down the fan and then I put up this brand new light fixture. When I tell you it's five times brighter in here, I'm not even kidding you, you guys. I tend to use some creative liberties when it comes to lighting fixtures. I have some unique lighting fixtures all over my home, but I think taking a risk pays off because automatically people assume that your lighting is expensive because they haven't seen it before. So take some risks when picking out your light fixtures. It will definitely pay off. I also updated the decor on my fireplace mantle. I have a set of three ginger jars on one side. I have an orchid flower arrangement on the other, and I kept my DIY mirror in the center. I love the mirror in this space. It's so gorgeous. And look at how beautiful that chandelier reflects in that mirror. It's so pretty. With a few simple upgrades, I was able to transform this bedroom into a tranquil oasis. I'm excited to rest, relax, and rejuvenate in this space. It feels warm, inviting, elegant, and timeless. I hope you enjoy creating these dupes with me and refreshing my master bedroom on a budget. My goal here is to show you that you can live beautifully every day in your own way and you can do it on a budget. If you like this video and want to see more like it, I would love to have you subscribe so I can share those with you. Thank you so much for watching.